continue. You know, it seems like just yesterday, I was in a high school band was struggling to play March Grand Hill, so I would get so many things that were unimaginable then. Internet, smartphone, Skype, YouTube. Before all that technology coming into the 21st century, really is not about gadgets. It's about quality of communication. It's about passing along timeless fundamentals. The technological tools only allow us to teach more of what is important about being human. They are means. The human content is the end. A good friend of mine said, yeah, everybody's twittering, they Facebook it, but you don't read what they're saying. They ain't saying nothing. They don't need the Twitter to say that. They're saying that forever. These tools can assist us in showing our students that music is a conduit to understanding much more than music itself. But really, it's, it's solely up to us to lift our culture through action. Nobody else is going to do that. I suggest there are a few very doable things that could give us confidence as we go deeper into the 21st century. A few practices that could help us become catalysts for real advancement and change. One, let's teach as if the cultural life of our nation depends on what we choose to teach. And let's pick our content deliberately, comprehensively, Carefully. Let our kids express themselves and encourage it. Also, keep, keep your alumni around you in any context. Those alumni will solidify your program. We are leaders, yes. But as leaders, we are also mainly support staff. And through a continued involvement with our students, our vision of the future and the present will be enhanced beyond our comprehension. I think it's important for us to aim high and know that there have been many hard fought battles and victories in our music. These battles don't have to be fought again. Charlie Parker showed us how to improvise logically and perfectly at the speed of sound. Benny Goodman integrated the American Bandstand a decade before baseball. At one time, we know that most of the people in America could dance, regardless of racial stereotypes. That lets us know people could always start dancing again. And I'm not talking about funky ball. <laughs> Get out of the school. Get out of the school. Perform in the community. Get out where people hear what you're doing. Give your band a larger purpose than competitions, football games and the three to four concerts a year. Let the kids play in nursing homes, in children's hospitals, malls. Let them play in community centers so that they can feel the effect of music on different parts of the population and develop a love for performing and a love for people through music. It's also important to know that everything you do makes a difference. Everything you do makes a difference. Every kid you address. The day my teacher, George Jansen, sent me home, that was a good day for me. It made me understand. You're not about this material, son. You're just another person here playing trumpet. You gotta take care of business. Get out. It's too serious for this to play at this time. Everything you do makes a difference. And it's all very personal. And it's all much deeper. It's the art of the invisible. It's the shaper of emotion. The organizer of thought is so serious, it's a joke. It's spirit, it's smoke. It's that cry, I'm talking about that holy holler. It's so much deeper than it is. That's why you're gonna call Ricardo's mother to see what can be done about him teasing his sister so you can hear a basis at 6.30 in the morning after two hours. It's why you bring in those clarinets you stayed up all night fixing to have your third graders show you a beautiful collage they made for you with all of your usable reeds pasted to yellow construction paper. <laughs> 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 it's why you
Martell, Mack, and Trey Vaughn, they blew it with the clarinet player. You sit them on opposite sides of the section and have them clean the band and rack the stands and chairs for the next month. It's why you console your crestfallen trumpet soloists and cajole Mrs. Lutz. It's why you convince Principal Bud Snake and it's why you collect that $400. It's why you go through everything imaginable to let Melissa stay in your already overcrowded house. It's all because this is all so much deeper than notes. It's amazing. And just the name bespeaks spirituality, sophistication, and solemnity, and so much swaying and swooping, and the specialness of soul that bespeaks the blues and saying what you have to say. In music is everything from the movements of the heavens to the chirping of the crickets, the whispers of new lovers, the trip, clip cadence of embattled couples, and the lonely cry of the broken heart. It's the exhortations of a country preacher and the mysteries of the midnight moan. It's the super trite jingle of a TV commercial and the collective travail of a people in song. The voice of morning prayer that stops cities and the anthem that calls the nation to attention. It is the recorded history and the memory of a people brought to life in every performance, the joining of generations, and an expression of pride, love, and a sense of belonging. It's the singing of a symbol in full swing. It's the sweep of brushes on snare and the very last wisp, Ben Webster's sound makes, kissing the air. It's what the fat lady sings. It's much deeper than those. We need to get started.